Here at Fox 11, we emphasize the fact that you need more than one way to receive an alert, a tornado warning or a severe thunderstorm warning. You can get it on your cell phone using the Fox 11 weather app. That's a great way, but really the best way to receive the alert is with a weather radio. This is kind of like a smoke detector in your home or a fire detector so that when you have it perhaps in your bedroom and it goes off in the middle of the night, it's really going to alert you. You can listen to the alert and then you can turn on Fox 11 and watch where the storm is and where it's going. So let me show you how to program this weather radio. Now when you get the radio out of the box, make sure of a couple of things. Make sure that that switch is on on. That will give you the weather alerts. If you have it on off, you will not get the weather alerts. Also make sure that you put it in the batteries in the back. The batteries are backup power for when power fails and the normal power for this will be a cord that they enclose that you will plug into the outlet. Of course, when there's a severe storm, a lot of times power is out and that's when the backup batteries kick in. So the first thing that this will say is set language. I'm going to, all I have to do is select that select and I want English. So I'll select that. Now it says set location. And this is when I set the location of where I am going to be when I want the weather alerts. And I can arrow up and down to set my location. I'll arrow, or I'll, excuse me, I'll, I'll first select, and now I'll arrow up and down. I want a single location. I will select a single location. And that's, it gives you up to 25 locations. I just want the first location. I'll select that. I'll select USA, and it gives me all 50 states. Started Alabama, goes all the way down to Wyoming. I don't want to go that way. I want to go the opposite way, so I don't have to go through 48 states. And I get Wisconsin by arrowing up. I select Wisconsin and say I want Brown County here. So there's Brown County. I just arrowed down to Brown County. I select, and then it's already selected. I put a single county in there, and it is selected. Now it gives me the set time, and I'll select that, and I'll just select 1202, for instance, because I wanted to get down to set channel. That's the next thing it gives me to set. This is the tower that National Weather Service will use to give you and so that you can get reception. You have seven different channels, and the best way to do this is just press select, and you will see the number over here, four, and then go up or down, five, six, seven. When you hear a clear channel, that's the one you want. Now let's go around to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is. That's the one you want. So you select and the setup is done. There's your time. And now just say you wanted to put another location in here. You have a single location, but say you have a cabin up north. So it should work like this. You press menu and you scroll to where it says set location. So I scroll down the arrow down and set location. I selected the location. Right now it's on a single location. But if I scroll or I arrow up, I want multiple locations now. And I'll select that. So we already have the number one location in. I want to arrow down, or I should say arrow up to number two. Select that, number two, USA, select. Again, we're going up to Wisconsin select and we'll we can put any state in here we can even put michigan in here if you have a, a cabin in the up but say your cabin is all up in bayfield county and you want that county in there so you press the arrow down to bayfield you select that county and you're done you press menu twice it saves and there you go you're all set for severe weather make sure you're Antenna is up so you get good reception. Oh, and by the way, here's how it'll sound when the alert goes off. Hang on, I'll get there. We go to alert test. That's what I wanted you to hear. That's what you'll hear when there is an alert from the National Weather Service. Now that alert will sound to wake you up. Again, you'll use this as kind of like a smoke detector. In the middle of the night, you put that on your shelf, and when the alert is issued, you'll hear it. You can get up, put it on snooze, go over, turn your TV on, and watch Fox 11, and we'll keep you covered. I hope this helps.
We're Fox 11, your station for severe weather coverage.